Ah, uh, let's see. All right. Well, there you go. That's the code. Let's explore some more, though. We activate some robots, right? Do you? Are you surprised about the robots? No. No. But you say travel. Okay, he's not gonna say anything about the robots, I guess. Oh, these robots are not working though. Oh, okay, I, I thought it would. Oh, no, that's too bad. I thought it was like it would like repair all the robots. I guess not. No, only the robots inside the house. You know. Is everything else working though? What about this factory? Is this turned on? Yeah, it is. Get back here. Hello, organic life form. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. I have power again. Yep. You're just sitting there, though. Oh, hello. Hi. Nothing else? No? You just... Your power's on, you can do nothing? Uh, this one's still working. Hmm. No other robots, though. I guess that's it. You know, I thought this place was a lot bigger from the outside. I guess not. What else is there to do? I was thinking, well, can I go back to the house? You know, well, I guess not. I don't think we can go back to the house. Because thinking that the house has a computer, right? I wonder if you can turn it on again, but I guess not. I don't think so. Well, we turned on power off for that little place. And we were given a hint about a code. And we did see a safe before, so I think I know where to find it. Let's see. Around here somewhere. Not here. Over here. Yeah, this one. Six digit code. Enter the code. Well, let's see. Eight. Four. Five. Four. Six. Three. It worked. Wow. Wait, how did you know the code, Sign Slider? I still don't remember seeing one. I had some help. Really? From who? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't even know who's helping me. The developer. Well, what's in the safe, Nico? Oh right. Let's see. Ah, I found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird-looking book. I can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. Hmm. Can you show- oh. Nanny. Uh-oh. What is that? Corruptions? Well. I guess this world is breaking in more ways than one. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, just the sun going out and everything, but actually... Reality is also breaking. Can I look at it from over here? Or from like the other side? No? I can't look at it. I wanna like, you know... Inspect it. I guess not. Anyway, we have a gas mask so we can go up the north, I guess, with the gas. What's this? Strange journal. Hmm, written in an unknown language. The silver... Let's see, can I... Travel over here, I guess. No, that's the outpost. Oh, over here. Can you read this, Silver? Excuse me, Miss. Okay, so it's a, it's a woman. I don't know. It was she was she was a little, a, a little bit uh, androgynous, so I wasn't. It was hard to tell. Also, she's a robot, so <laughs> I found this book. Do you know anything about it? Well, let me see. What language is this? I'm sorry, I don't even recognize his writing system. Ah well, it's worth a shot. <laughs> worth a one shot. Although this insignia... Hold on to the journal for now. It will be important. Okay. Okay, so... Don't know what it is, though. Apparently it's important, however. I wonder, can I, like, uh, interact with her for more items? What about this light bug? Can you tell me more about this? No? Okay. Okay, well. I guess that's it. Let's see. Uh... 
Can you read this? More questions? No, I don't think so. I guess not. I guess the only way to go now is up, as far as I know. I don't think there's any other way to go. Oh, you're alive. Okay, some, some robots are alive, some are not. Which is weird. Which actually, well... Okay, let me, let me just talk to you first. I'm functional! Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I was hoping you'd give something more than that, you know? Any of these computers working? Because I'm thinking, let's see, I saw one robot near, uh, Silver. So I'll check, go back real quick. A good thing we have fast travel. Go really quick. There's this one very conspicuous, conspicuous one over here. Is it alive? Yeah, it is. Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. Well, there's nothing we don't know already. I am watching over the plants. Okay, uh, I don't know what you mean by that. What do, mean, what do you mean plants? What plants? I don't see any plants. Except maybe these leaves, but... I don't know where the, these leaves come from. I guess that's it. I don't know how important that robot is. Let's see, go up north. I wonder if that boat robot is alive. Now. Hmm. Where are they? They're over there. They're not like lighting up or anything though. So I think they're still immobile. No, 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 they're alive. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Science Slider helped me. But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm robot number 310. Okay, so that's what the robots are called. They're the, bo they're the robots that row, I guess. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on, Sign Slider and I will find a way to help you. Okay. We gotta get, get, get him some oil, I guess. I don't think we have any oil at the moment. So I guess we'll go up for now. Anything interesting here? There's the bed. Sleep again, but... Maybe not right now. I should be fine with this mask on. Oh, looks pretty kind of scary with the mask. Scary mask. Well, uh, let's see. I guess this is this is phosphor gas. I assume it's very dangerous to breathe in. I guess for a person anyway. I want the robot. Well, probably robots are fine going through this place. In fact, that's what it said in the note. Actually, that's why there's a surplus of masks because you know all the robots replace most of the workers. So that they can go through dangerous places like these without using the mask. A lot of pools again, so this is probably like a prime spot for like picking up shrimp, I guess. Again, that's how I assume. I assume these weird like ponds are like full of shrimp. But I don't. I don't know for sure though. Oh, this one's bubbling over. This pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. Hmm. Well, we were told to harvest it ASAP. Can we do that right now? Want me to fill the bottle of this stuff, size slider? And it's too goopy to fit in the bottle opening. It's like that one time years ago when I tried to put tomato chowder in a baby bottle. But that's a weird thing to do, alright? And then it got everywhere. On the table, on my clothes, on the baby, on the baby's clothes. On the baby. The grown-ups thought it was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures. And then they taught me how to use funnels. Amazing. And then they also told me I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. Anyway, we should probably look for a funnel or something. Okay, so we need a funnel. Hello. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Trying to save this world. Because Nikos is the messiah. Need funnel though. 
I assume I guess well of the shrimps, you know, if they, I guess if they breed too much, the pool gets uh, overflowed and that's no good, I guess. There's a note here. What's this? Is this dangerous? Should I touch it? This vent is on the ground. All the others are taller than me. Can I use this bottle on this vent? I guess you want me to fill the bottle of this gas science lighter. That ought to do it. Okay. It's a bottle of smoke. I don't know what we're gonna use that for. Are you gonna like throw it at someone? And then they die from the poison gas. Oh no. Chemical warfare. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite his first, uh, or despite his failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barons. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our, biolog our biologists concluded that the phosphorus shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. Okay, the shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting into the glen. Okay, so it, it, it is the glen, I guess. It's weird. Like on the map, it's like this grassland, I guess. You know? Hmm. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. I guess yeah. That's why there's a bunch of shrimp here because. They eat the gas. Nom 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 nom. And in turn converts into energy and then we use that energy to make robots, I guess, or power up our machines. At least in this world anyway. Hmm. Yeah, well, so I guess go this way. What's over here? A giant pool? A robot? Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. These robots have don't have much to say, I guess. Ah, more notes. Evacuation? On such no uh, short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Oh. Some sort of mecha uh, mechanical drawing. Oh, what is it? I want to see what it is. Is it just, is it just a square? I don't know. Oh, this is a weird place. It's like a full a bunch of holes. This is where well I don't know, is this where you store robots maybe? It's probably beyond repair. Either that or a morgue, maybe. There's no dead people though, so. I'm scared of ladders. Well. Get over it, Nico. Okay, maybe not. There's nothing to see there anyway. Hmm. What is what is all this? I don't know. Nothing, nothing to say, Nico? I feel like this is important for some reason. There's the camera moves up every time I interact with it. So maybe we have to like find a certain hole or something later on. Hey sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. Oh, okay, so no, it's not for robots, it's for people. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back, uh, soon. Love, Mom. Okay. Ah. Oh. Well, yeah, it kind of reminds me of those, uh, what do you call them? I guess they're called capsule hotels? Or something like that. In, uh, Japan, actually. Very, like, you know, minimal, cheap, like, hotel spaces. Uh, mostly for people, mostly for people like traveling, you know, across the country or into the country or whatever, you know. It's like a very, like, very small room where it's basically just a bed, you know. They just give you a bed or whatever. But, you know, it's only for, like, temporary, you know. It's not like a real hotel room or anything. Like, it's, you're not, it's not meant to, like, uh, for you to stay there for days or anything. It's just supposed to be, like, temporary in case of, uh... Again, because if you're, for example, like a business person, I guess, you know? You gotta travel a lot to a lot of places, I guess. I don't know. It looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. The author? Capital? The author. I 
know what that means. Because I'm not saying like capital author. Does that mean like not just like a like a you know a fiction writer, but like someone important, you know, writing these books? Oh, there it go. Infirmary. Oh. Hello, Ingor, uh, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Okay, we can go to the infirmary. Can we get some drugs? Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Beep. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required. None. You are good to go. Uh, thanks. Well, uh, good thing we have a medical robot in case we like scrape a knee or something. It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusty beyond use, but this plastic uh, syringe seems to be okay. Alright, so we just have a oh, not that fast row. An empty sh syringe. Oh, it's kind of like a funnel, isn't it? Are you? Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? Uh, no. Oh, carry on then. What's it doing? Is it like bumping something? It looks like a coffee cup, but no, it's too it's too squishy to be a coffee cup. I have no idea what that is. What is it doing? It's is it pulling something? I don't know. Some sort of medical equipment, I guess. Weird. What's over here? There's more of these capsule stuff. Picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before a science slider. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nikki, do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um. Ahem. <clears throat> Beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. Hmm. <clears throat> well, that is not correct. Oh, there's another robot. A real robot. You're, mo you're mocking a robot. I guess that's pretty rude. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Oh. Thanks, Slider. You made me look silly. Well, that was the idea. I'm chaotic evil, just like the achievement said. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Okay, that's it. I guess that's it. I don't know what they're doing, I guess guarding the... The capsule rooms? For some reason? Maybe it's a... Maybe it was someone's personal alarm clock, I don't know. Hmm... The building here... Oh, there's a lot, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of places to explore. It's, I guess this is really the... This is where all the workers slept at. And I guess there's a lot of workers here. They all left though. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretched into the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Hmm. Tiny shrimp are swimming in this jar. Nothing up here, I guess. It's another ladder. Oh, no ladders for Nico. Hello, do you need any help? I'm good. What's over here? Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Oh. Some of the ink on this page is uh, faded, so blah, 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 likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation could no longer be sustained. If the service continues to fail so much that the maintenance cannot keep up the pace, or if the service continues to fail so much that the maintenance cannot keep up the pace, uh, fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Okay, you know what does that mean? Mm, interference? I guess, it's, I guess it's like, you know, in general, you know, everything's breaking down. The robots are mostly fine, though. Computers. All of these terminals do not boot. 
I'm not sure what to do now. Well, you should like fix the computers, you know, get some new parts, order some on Amazon, maybe? I don't know. I guess not. Uh, giant pool. Let's see. Over here is another house. Oh, more notes. Looks like they're evacuating the few tame robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. Okay. They say it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they meant, mean by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy transporting uh, people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Okay, so yeah, if you remember those docks with that one particular row of bots, you know? I guess that's how most of the people left. Through those little boats, I guess. It's a power cell. It's writing on this one. It says, Guardian of Residential Area. Hmm. Is that a special bot? Special? Oh, well, that one's dying, unfortunately. But Guardian of Residential Area? Is that the, the one robot sitting on top of one of the rooms, I guess? Interesting. I don't know why that particular robot is special. It seems like... Oh no, or maybe it's this one. Okay, I, was, I thought it was the one that was sitting... You know, one of the buildings. But maybe it's this one. You know, this one, this guy looks pretty important right here. Uh, he's kind of dying though. He, he's missing an arm. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to Prophet Bot? I think so, yeah. Prophet Bot was built for the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Huh. Why though? I have not been tamed. I still don't know what that means, tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Hmm. Uh, what's up? Oh, I guess... Useless, stupid, edgy boy? That's a very self-deprecating username, but... What's up? I guess this Miss Guardians are here. Uh, by the way, some robots may start following you around this settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. This is their job to keep people safe. Okay. Mr. Guardian, as this is a special robot as well. Not tame though. The tame like, I don't know, is it tame like in the sense of, you know, how like, when you think, you know, Nico is a cat and everything, is it like how you tame pets or whatever? Unit RM2AA34170 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the Guardian of the Settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitorium. Or dormitory, rather. Um, what? Uh, I guess we have an escort. I, well, we don't have a dormitory, though. So... Leave me alone, buddy. <laughs> I guess they're harmless, though. I can go here. What's over here? More gas. Oh, this one's- this crater is empty though. Interesting. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere or am I just seeing things? Hmm. Really again? What do you mean by that? You only rust much slower than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting looks practically new. I don't know. So the gas is like sometimes maybe like rejuvenating some of the robots or something? That's weird. Uh, this game took entirely 10 hours for you to finish? Mm -hmm, okay. I'm thinking, yeah, I'll probably take, you know, a few hours to finish this one. It's, uh, you know, not too long, but not too short either, I guess. Let's see. What's over here? Eh, eh, 
talk, talk to the robot. Uh, hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the chem uh, equipment has already been relocated. Okay. Chemical processing plant, eh? Reminds me of the second level of uh, Sonic 2. <laughs> it's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Okay, we got some gloves. Amazing. Big metal box. Uh, hello. Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barons. If you have further in inquiry, please contact the head engineer. Mm, that would be Silver, I guess. Seems to be a page about a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Reagents, acidic gas, and blue phosphor rare form. Hmm, what kind of form? Instructions. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. No. Oh, that's the end of the instructions. No, no other instructions, I guess. Uh, let's see. Are you going here? Mm, board it up. Seems loose, though. She better pop on the right tool. Do we still have that uh, crowbar? Yes, we do. Good thing I kept this crowbar. Amazing. What a workout. What's in here? Bunch of robots full of power. I guess the generator can only do so much. Hmm. Big metal box. A note. Uh, oh, rest of the instructions. Okay, so without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. Hmm. Okay. I think I yeah. No, no, I, I think I know how to do this. Yeah. Like I saw before we have a syringe and we have that bottle full of gas we saw before. It was it dual gas a cleaning solvent, right? If elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Uh, also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaner, so that's why we have that glove. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, me, Sunny Slider. Maybe just a big dummy. Well, I'm also, I'm also not that great at puzzles, so we'll see. It's not too hard so far, but maybe if it gets harder later on. I might need to use like a walkthrough or anything, but I'll try not to. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Hmm, sponge. Do we need to clean anything? Oh no, yeah! I think we- okay, I'll say. It's to clean the, the robot, right. Cleaning the guy with the, the boat, I guess. That's what we're ultimately trying to do. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. Anything else to explore here though? Seems like it's the end. Or a dead end anyway. Vent. Let's see. Oh, there's a note here. Did I read this yet? I don't remember. Yeah, accumulate rust. Yeah, okay, so this is a hint to like clean the robots, I guess. Yeah. Alright, I think I get it. I think I get it. <laughs> what was that one robot that was escorting us? I guess they're not around anymore. Stay safe. I was thinking like maybe we- oh no, it's right here. Hello. So you're just gonna follow me? Yes. Until you safely reach a building of your destination. Alright. Um... What happens if I go to the... Uh, which one was it? Was it the... was it this one? No, not this one. Was it that other robot? Or was it this one? I can't remember, I can't see. Ah uh, no. The one with, uh, with the other robot sitting on one of the rooms. Maybe if I go to that building. Hello. Oop. Hmm. Is it this one? This one says 8 on it, apparently. Hello. Hi. Uh, what are you doing up there? I'm stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Okay. Oh, I think I already read that, though. Yeah, it was, it was this one. I don't know if there's anything to do with him. Or it, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I guess it's- I think we're safe to just simply go? 
to, let's see, where is it? Is it this one? Shrimp Swamp? Or is this, no, yeah, it's up over here. Where's that bubbling thing? The, I saw a bubble. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Over here, yes. And uh, Nico mentioned something about needing a funnel, so we'll use the next bit, uh, next, the next best thing, a syringe. So we're filling up the syringe, Sunny Snyder. I guess it's kind of like a funnel, but the liquid might be too thick to fit in the needle. Hmm. Hey, I actually went in. Gross. Okay, well, it worked out after all. Go syringe, and uh, the instruction mentioned putting it in the the blue phosphor, I guess, right? So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Sign Snyder? It's like I'm a doctor. Oh, I should probably shake this too. Oh wait, no, no, don't shake it yet. I'll change color. Blood of acid. Uh, well, we have to use it immediately, actually, Nico. You don't, you shouldn't shake it yet. Sure, probably may wait it. I don't know if it really matters. I don't know if there's like a time limit, but probably have to use it as soon as possible anyway. Where's the robot? Robot. 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 The robot. Robot. Can you put on our, our rubber gloves? Okay. Well, I need something to use this wash the robot with. Oh, um, the sponge. Yes. I'm guessing you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge. Good thing I have these gloves. Rip. There you go. I hope this works. Now I have a wet sponge. Alright, hold still. Time for your bath. I have no other choice. There. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. I'm able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Excuse. Can you uh, take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen, port number. My built in navigation circuits are far, uh, fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Aw. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Okay, so we have to go back to Silver, I guess. Let's see. Outpost, I think? No, not there. Oh, no, that's a profit bot. Uh, oh, look out point. Yeah, this one. Hello, Silver. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower. But it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright. What is the issue? It says something about this navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Science Slide and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that might help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Ooh, it's a pendant. The same symbol as the journal we have, by the way. That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the Glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover. That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Hmm? Uh, I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. Like programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you. Got the pendant. Well, let's see ya. Person in chat. Uh, let's see. So, we have an ember. A black clover. Same as the journal. Can we do this? No, oh, okay. I was wondering if we could put the ember in the journal and then we activate it somehow or something. No, oh, okay. Before I go, is there anything I could do in return? Actually... Do you know how to play chess? Um, sort of? I'm not very good at it. Yeah. Well, sort of. I played with some other uh, older kids before. Then will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well. But I guess it's the least I can do. 
do we actually get to play it? Or I guess Nico is playing it. I want to play it, you know, but I guess not. Uh, you're really good at this. Thank you. It was built into my code. Yeah. So, what's it like then? Being a robot and all. I've talked to other robots and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. Oh, there goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tame robots are, but I'm one of them. Oh, you are? Okay, so she's a tame robot. Very like, well, it seems like the tame robots tend to be, well, humanoid, I guess. Or at least the, the only example we have so far. Uh, but all the other tame robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horse. It's the night. The night is gone. Right, night. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I've heard there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, and the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just a tipping point. The things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then, there's nothing I can do? Check. What, Nanny? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you're only supposed to be second- You're supposed to be your- ugh. In a way, you're only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But, checkmate. No. Alright, I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Uh, thank you, also. Well, you suck at chess, Nico. <laughs> but then again, facing a robot is probably very hard. It's kind of like facing, you know, AI. In chess. Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger the barons. Okay. Well, I kind of want to explore that mine, but I don't think we... But well, we need a vehicle, right? I don't have a vehicle, so... I don't think we do much in the, in the mines. Also, I keep, like, accidentally transitioning to an another area, but I don't mean to. What about this robot? Anything else in this robot? Well, just watching over the plants, as always. Let's see... Uh, well, we have the pendant, so I guess we just give it to the robot. Robot. Anything else you want to say, Prophet Bot? Oh, Sai Slider and I are going to leave now. We found a robot that can take us closer to the tower. Oh, thanks for helping me in answering my questions. That means I have fulfilled my purpose. Mm hmm. I wish you luck on the rest of your journey. Amazing. Wish you luck. All right. Anything else? Oh, the computer's off. Oh well. Okay. Mm, oh. Was this crater empty before? I thought it was filled- like, I, I love the craters we see are always filled with like, you know, pools of water and shrimp and everything. Like this one. I wonder if some, some of the pools are just drying up as we go, you know? Well, uh, let's see. Where's the, uh, robot? Did I miss it? No, oh, it's over here, I think. Robot. Robot, robot. The robot, robot. The rowing robot, robot. Oh, this is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. 
Well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask and gloves. Well, you never know. I don't feel like... I guess, uh, you know, pointing- well, it's actually kind of good because, you know, similar to like point and click games, you have like a bunch of items that you use, you know, your stuff with, but if you're moving to an another area with a different set of puzzles, I guess, then they're resetting all your items so that you don't get mixed up and use the old items that you don't need anymore, I guess. Anyway, that is acceptable. Onwards we go. Yay! I guess, oh, I hadn't even noticed. I guess he's like directly connected to the boat, you know? He, he is the boat. His body contains us. Here is your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Well, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. Yeah, this like apparently this weird theme of like taming. If you've not been tamed, I guess you can just be treated as like a a thing, maybe. Is that what it means? You know? If you've not been tamed, then you're not a person, I guess. And they've been programmed to think in such a way. Mm. Well, what's what's this? What's over here? I'm gonna, more water? It seems the gland is very uh, green, you know? No? we were like transitioning re transitioning back to gameplay um yeah we're overlooking everything i guess actually can i go back down in that case i guess that's the, f the way forward in which case i'm gonna go over here a little bit more okay that's just not that much okay it's just the docks i guess hmm. the water is much more watery i guess not like s sparkling and glittering anymore as if it was looking at space, you know? Hmm. Oh? Well, what are you? Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, yeah. Stop to. I'm catching fireflies for mommy. Okay. I don't know what you are, though. Are you a robot as well, or are you a person? Hmm. Most of these trees, by the way, are chopped off, I guess, or dead. I assume, anyway. Well, fireflies. Oh, okay, so in the barrens it was uh, shrimp, and now it's fireflies, I guess. Do fireflies also give energy as well? Does any- like anything that gives off light, you know, does it give energy? Is that how it works? Also, there's like a wall here. Just uh, like a conspicuous- conspicuous wall in the middle of nowhere. Alright. Small dried fish. Huh? Is it food? Yum yum, eat the food. Hello. Hmm. Nothing's biting. Oh, okay. You're not paying attention to us, I guess. They don't, don't care? They don't, don't care? This weird cat boy with the sun, the literal sun in his hands? They just don't care about that? They're, they're just gonna continue fishing, I guess? Hmm. Where are you? There was a time where people used to live in these ruins. But due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye. The land has gotten brittle. The gland used to be one piece, you know. But now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Huh. Warm, cool. Coals. Coals. I guess this is a bunch of, uh... I was gonna say nomadic people? But, you know, they're forced to be nomadic, I guess. Fishing pole. They fish and they capture fireflies, I guess. Fish stew! Are you hungry, Nico? Maybe you should just steal some stew, I don't know. Are they willing to share? It is the apocalypse, isn't it? Or a post-apocalyptic world or whatever? I don't know what caused the world to, like, die. Maybe it has something to do with the, the whole mining thing, you know? They mine too much stuff. Oh, what's this? Uh, Alula? 
Alula, where did you go? Sign is higher, did you hear that? Alula, I think it's coming from southeast of here. Is it safe? <laughs> These trees are looking ominous, actually. I think I'll uh, uh, run away. Run away from the weird monster thing. I want to explore so a little bit more. How do I get to the right? Apparently, it's kind of cut off. I don't like. I don't think I can talk to that person on the right over there. Anything in these jars I could like, you know? Fine. Can I break these pots, you know, and find some rupees? I guess not. Hmm. So I guess we can go down. Uh, and there's a oh, oh actually yeah these oh yeah I was saying before how like I wonder what these are are these like leaves or anything but no they're uh, black clovers oh yeah because that's what Silver was saying that's where this pendant is based on this was this, oh, well this journal as well I guess unknown language though Do these people speak like an unknown language maybe I wonder can you help me you know what this strange journal is Do you still live here sort of. Fish populations near the village are thinning, so we fisher folk are making temporary shelter here. Makes sense. The deeper ruins have been abandoned for a while though. But I do see some kids coming in and out of those. I think they actually live there. Mm. I hope those kids are safe. Okay. The more dialogue with them, I guess. Anything more of you? No oh, nice biting, okay. They're running out of fish, I guess. Not good for them. What's over here? Oh, a much more populated place, I guess. Full of milk. Milk makes you grow taller. That's what Mama always said. Small rocks. Okay, there's look, 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 a bunch of jars for a lot of stuff, I guess. Water. Hmm. What's in here? Hello? Daddy says the world is very sick, but Sai Slider can make it better again. Well, apparently I'm known here for some reason. Are you Sai Slider? Uh, not really. I'm just the messiah they sent. I can talk with Sai Slider though. I'm not crazy, I swear. I'm literally like, like I'm talking to a god. Wow. What's that like? Really cool. Amazing. Can you see Sai Slider too? Nope. I can only hear their voice in my head. Guess so. Oh, a bed. More like a mattress. Hmm. But no, isn't that well, isn't a bed a mattress though? I don't know. Peas. Can I go in here? No? Okay, I thought I can go in there, I guess not. So last week I saw more more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get close though. Squares? Squares, man. The bad news, dude. <laughs> okay. Stay away from the squares, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes, be, be, be scared of squares. Well, that one was just a jar. It's an empty jar. Hello? Why are you spinning? Like this? Ooh, I can't spin Nico. Yeah, ooh, I guess I can only spin like that. Anyway. Yeah, you're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. I'm the tower. Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. Hmm, this is like a, um, like a lighthouse? I want to see it too. Well, I'm here now. I guess so it'll be a matter of time again. I'm getting dizzy. I told you. Mm. Most of the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. If it wasn't for the thin strip left on the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water becomes indistinguishable here. Well, good thing you have these fireflies, I guess. I, I think they said they were fisher folk? I mean, I guess they were, well, they're fisher, like, as in- I thought they were like fish folk, but no, they're fisher folk, as in the people who fish for fish, I guess. Wow! Is that the sun? Yeah. And you're holding it? This isn't hot. Not really. It's nice and warm. Wow. Sometimes I like to like, you know, double check the dialogue just in case they say anything new, but sometimes they just say the exact same thing, I guess. Uh, no, that's just the spinning tower. Oh, you. I'm not ready yet. Or it's not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. 
is the least I can offer the savior. I'm some kind of stew. Are you sure you're not hungry? Uh, I guess not. Don't be afraid to ask if you want some stew. Get some stew, Nico. Why not? Well, no one's in here. Mm, can I steal their stuff? No. I guess not. Uh, I talked to you, right? Yeah. Wow. It's sometimes hard to tell because, you know, all these houses look the same. Oh, well, jar place. There's a lot of jars. This is it. The last of our grain surpluses. And now we're dealing with the vermin problem. Maybe you can get cats? Not that I'm a cat, I mean. Well, are you sure? A cat does sell nice. Maybe I'll ask my cousin to find one in the city for me. He just moved there. Some cats. Guess this is all their grain. Hopefully you don't, you know, don't knock it over. It'll all be wasted. Like a domino effect, you know, you knock one over and all of them knock, gets knocked over and everything. That would be bad. The land is fragmenting at an alarming rate. I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses to the intruding sea. We'll have to find another place to settle. Hmm. It's slowly being chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive, I think. Does it matter? One day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. I'm bringing back the sun though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Well, just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again before we all die. <laughs> I guess. Moss. I guess we're bringing a little bit of hope in a dying world. You know, at least everyone will be happy that the sun is back before they all, you know, perish, I guess. Bah! Bunch of sheep. Did I talk to you? Yeah, I already know. Okay. Are these sheep? They have those weird horns. Normally, only rams have horns, don't they? A sheep or a goat, maybe? I don't know. The crops have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Uh, please, Savior, you have to hurry. I... I'll do my best. Let me just walk all over your crops, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Just kick all the seeds out of the soil. Hello. Hmm... I need someone to help me herd my rams. Oh, okay, really has rams. Oh, there's one spinning, like a lot at the bottom there. Anyway, oh, I can do that. I seen some grown-ups do it back home. You kind of just push them around. Hmm. But you are carrying the sun. Uh. Well, wait. Can't you just watch the sun for me? I cannot. I'm but a simple uh, shepherd. Um. Okay. Come back when your hands are free. You'll be rewarded if you can herd my rams. I guess we can't hurt rams yet. Can't just like put down the sun. It's very fragile, I guess. Actually, can I like uh, you know, explore a little bit some more? Yeah, which one's yeah? This one's spinning. What? what kind of sound is that? More rams here. Can't get past them though. They're blocking the way to some pots. Uh, crops. Anything else? Just make sure I'm not missing anything. You know, explore as much as I can. Uh, did I talk to you? What? Who's that, by the way? Uh, 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 uh. Who are you? The light from these lanterns will have to do for now. I'm starting to see some very small sprouts. It will probably take some time for these to bear fruit. Hmm. Well, this ram is chewing out a ball of moss. Now I'm curious. What do you think they taste like, Sunny Slider? Are you gonna eat one? Uh, the moss, not the ram. Oh, well, I mean... I suppose I could just eat one, but... You know what they say about curiosity in the cat? Not that I'm a cat. You're very adamant about that, by the way, Nico. Are you sure you're not a cat? You look like a cat. Gotta be a cat, you know. 
There's no way you're telling me that you're not a cat. At least a cat person, anyway. Mm, what's over here? A wagon? Are you, are you selling stuff? Wait, trade this? Don't you wanna, don't you wanna find out what it says for sign slider? Uh, oh, oh, okay. It's because we're holding the book, that's why. What's that? A book? I'm not sure if I want to retake books. I can't read. Okay, well. I, I got, that's why I gotta unequip it first. Let's see. Hey, yeah. Uh, you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Sign Slider? Do we? Wow. That's a lot of shiny things. Glass shards, glass marbles, empty glass bottles, mostly empty glass bottles, glass bottles full of different things. Bits of strings, colored wool, plain wool, fabric straps, rusty buckets, scrap metal shells, some brocks. Uh, what's all this for, by the way? I just think they're neat. <laughs> okay. They have a badass scar, by the way. I don't know, you, you're just a merchant, though, I guess? Um... Just pendant, maybe? I don't think it's right away to trade this away, Sign Slider. Oh, hey, you have one of those coin things. I've dug up a couple of these before. Oh? Yeah, there's this guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like one time, he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but you have to wind it up. A music box? Oh, that's it. I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. Okay. How about if I trade this light, the this, this sun of this world? Can I do that? Sign slider, no. Okay. Look, I just wanted to try, alright? Bad. Let's see. There's a house there. Yeah, okay, let's go in. Hmm. What's this? Her shoes and jewelry, cloak, staff. Reminds me of the one the robot was from the Barons was holding. It's an orb. The material looks like amber. What's over here? Looks like an altar. Okay, I guess it's a it's a sh shrine of some sort. Huh. So this place is very mysterious, by the way, for the most part. I haven't had any hints of how to progress or anything, but. Well, you know, for the most part, we're just exploring, I guess. What's this? Doorways full of vines. Oh, so I can't go there, I guess. Maybe we can chop it up later with something. Hmm. What's over here? Oh, nothing. I'll say it's a dead end. All right. Oh, hello. The flood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. Earrings or anchovies? Are they red earrings? <laughs> Maybe sardines. Honestly, I have no clue. What kind of fish are they? I don't know. Okay. I guess that's it. You know, explore a lot of this place. Already. We might have to trade with that guy something later, but we don't have anything to trade right now, I guess. Hmm. Well, we haven't explored itself yet. I, you know, I was kind of scared away with that weird, like, shadow face. It looked like a monster of some sort, I don't know. But I guess we do have to confront our fears and go south to see who this uh, person is.